everybody, Joe Baylog here. A beautiful spring day. I just got my new boat. This is a, a Ranger Z521. Uh, and as I brought the things out that I need for my boat, and I started stocking my boat, I thought I should really take a few minutes and show you guys a little bit about what I carry in my boat uh, for use up here on the Great Lakes. It's a beautiful, calm day today, but we have a lot of uh, adverse weather here on the Great Lakes. And I want to show you a few things I carry uh, and maybe kind of get your brain moving as to uh, whether or not you're really truly prepared, especially if you're a tournament fisherman. Um, every year when I get a new boat, I, I bring out my boat boxes that I've stored in my garage. These boxes I took out of my boat last year and I put them right back in my boat this year. They're the same boxes. These are waterproof Plano boat boxes. Um, they, they work great for carrying everything and everything stays, stays real dry and real organized. You can see I put things in them and I just write with a sharpie right on top of them what's in each one so I'm totally organized. But more importantly, like this, this is my toolbox, you know, and I've got, I've got a prop wrench, I've got tools, I've got a spare, a little flashlight in case something happens, I've got some biodegradable hand soap, um, I don't know if you carry that, but I'm a big believer in not having scent on your hands, so a little bit of hand soap, it's got everything. But these tools, you know, for instance, this pair of pliers, this is a 15-year-old pair of pliers, okay, and it's been in the same box. Uh, in the same boat box uh, over the years, stay totally dry, nothing's rusted, and, and I mean there is measurable water in my compartments at times, and all my stuff stays dry in these boxes. Um, the boxes also have little little uh, compartments in the top for just little items. This is a little piece of fuel hose you might need if you change a, a real hard to reach spark plug. Um, this is, you know, just having a knife is, is handy, some fuses, all that's right on top where I know where it's at. Um, some other things that, that I carry, probably you should consider. Everybody knows, you know, for safety purposes, we got to have flares, you got to have up to date flares. But do you know that this VHF is probably a better lifesaver than those flares will be any day? Somebody's got to see these flares to know that I'm stranded. But this, I can call the Coast Guard, I can listen to the weather. I can spy on charter captains and, and, and other fishermen by listening to them on VHF to see who's catching fish. Another thing, always carry you know, an assortment of cable ties. There's always a use for cable ties and duct tape. Always carry duct tape. Fishing or hunting, you have to have cable ties and duct tape if you own a boat. Those really come in handy. There's insect repellent in here. Uh, I've got a charter license in here. Some other things in, in this one. I've got a spare trolling motor prop. I've got a first aid kit. Here's a couple other things that come to mind. Who knows what this is? This is a kill switch cord. Okay, in a bass tournament or a walleye tournament, you have to wear an emergency shutoff device for your motor, a kill switch. Something happens, you have it hooked to your life jacket, uh, you know, it may come off, you may lose your life jacket. If you don't have this cord, you can't legally start your boat. I always make sure I have two of these. Here's a spare bubble pump. Um, in the event that my live wells break and I can't repair them, I could still pump oxygen into my fish. Or if I get stranded and I have to take my tournament catch in another boat back to weigh-in, which is legal, I'll do so by putting them in a big weigh-in bag that I carry and I'll hook this bubble pump up to my, my ride-in. I'll hook this up to their battery and I'll be able to pump uh, uh, fresh oxygen into my fish in my bag and keep them alive until we get to weigh in. Something to consider because out here sometimes dry, you know, we drive an hour, two hours to and from our fishing spots. So you have to have a way to keep your fish alive. So, so there's another uh, a bunch of stuff. Here's a here's an older polycarbonate box, but but Plano makes these these real heavy duty boxes are great for something like a hub kit. Okay, this hub kit's been in my boat back and forth for four or five years now. Same same motor, same uh, Merc 250 has the same hub kit. So I just put it in this real heavy duty waterproof box. It goes back in my battery compartment. It's totally secure. And in here, I carry two prop nuts. How many times have you changed a prop and almost dropped that nut? If you do, you're dead in the water. Always have 
two spare prop nuts. Okay, so that's that's a little bit about that. A couple other little boxes I carry. This little giveaway box I got from Plano is, is a little waterproof box. I got some Navionics chips in here for my body of water as well as a backup for all my GPS spots. And I've also got my paperwork for my boat, my registration, uh, my insurance for Bassmaster tournaments. All that paperwork is right here in this little waterproof box. And then last but not least, I always carry this little guy. This little Plano waterproof is perfect for my phone, for my keys, for my wallet, anything really important. It's got three latches. It's totally waterproof. You can beat the heck out of stuff, throw it in the glove box. You're good to go. All these boxes fit easily into, you know, the storage in most big modern bass boats. They fit down in there perfect. And it's, it's just a great way to stay organized. So look into that stuff that I just talked about that you may be overlooking and make sure you get everything waterproof and it's so easy to stay organized from year to year. I'm Joe Baylog. We'll see you soon.